If you're one to commute around town on an electric scooter, a skateboard, maybe some kind of bicycle, you obviously know you're supposed to wear a helmet. And if you drive around in a car, you obviously know you should drive around with a dash cam. So what if I told you right here in this box I had both of those things all together plus a little bit more. It's going to make your ride a lot more safer as well as a lot more fun. So right here we're actually looking at a smart helmet for urban traffic. And you're probably wondering what could possibly make this a smart helmet. Well first of all it's a smart helmet you put on your head that's smart because it's going to protect your cranium in case you get into some kind of collision on your skateboard, your bicycle, your scooter, you name it, whatever you're riding. So that's all taken care of and we already know that's pretty much how any helmet is. But this helmet takes things further because it also has a 1080p dash cam or action camera depending on what you want to do. Maybe you get a little bit of action in, you like to strap a GoPro to yourself. This right here has the camera built into the helmet so that way if you do get in an accident or something crazy happens something really cool happens you see a ufo flying by you can have the footage automatically saved right on your helmet so that way you have it for later use in both good and bad scenarios i mean think about it this way how many times have you crashed and you're like ah i wish i had that filmed well now you actually can but we're taking this a step further because it also has bluetooth connectivity for both phone calls as well as music playback so you can jam out with your music as well as make phone calls hands free as you're riding around town and then we can take it even further because it gets even safer than a standard helmet because it also has remote control turn signals so that way if you're on a bike or something you can signal that you're going left so people know okay he's going left let me go right so I don't get hit by the guy on the bike. So I mean, really, this is a very smart helmet and it sounds amazing. It has a 1500 milliamp hour battery built in that you can recharge and it gets you about three to six hours of nonstop recording time on a maximum 32 gigabyte micro SD card? 32 gigabytes, huh? I haven't seen a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in like 10 years, really? Is that real? I, I, I mean, I guess that's okay. I mean, you get three to six hours and you could just delete it, but really, three to six hours, huh? On a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. 32 gigabyte micro SD card max. I don't even know if I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card laying around anywhere, but I guess we'll find out what's up with that. So taking a look at the box, looks nice. I mean, that helmet, it actually looks very stylish too. So this is gonna be really cool. All right, inside the box doesn't look, you know, anything special. Inside the box are both left and right ear pads. Very soft, okay, I like that. Feels like memory foam. And then we have, I guess, just the helmet right here. So, let's take a look at this. Nice little drawstring bag here, along with some Velcro pads, a micro USB charging cable, gross, the wireless remote control that you can strap to your bike handles, even put it around your wrist perhaps, although it seems a bit small. And if you really squeeze it on, but it's definitely made to go on the handles of your bike or scooter. We have the tinted face guard, so you can actually use this as sunglasses as well as to protect your face and eyes from debris. And then we have the actual helmet here, and I mean, you know what? This is a pretty nice looking helmet. It's got a glossy white design. We have the turn signals on the back. Very nice, very visible. I have some pretty big branding on the back so people behind you will know that this is a crackiest helmet. Yeah. Right here we have a rubber stopper to protect it from water that covers up the gross micro USB charging port. Let me just cover that back up before I throw up. All right, and then on the side right here is where we have a smart helmet. So we have a button to record video, button to take a picture, button to make a phone call, and button to turn on the lights. So that way, so I'm guessing that'll actually make this like, you know, a tail light on a car. So it's always on at night so people can see you. Basically like a reflector, pretty cool. Nothing over on this other side. Then over on the front is where we have some magical stuff. So right here we have the 1080p full HD action dash camera. I guess it's not a dash camera, it's more like a head camera, whatever. It's called an action camera. Right here we have a microphone hole so it can pick up your voice for phone calls. And then inside we have the strap here that's gonna go on your chin. It unlatches and you can adjust it to your size. Has some nice padding here. Inside, pad it up, looks great. You know, not bad, not too shabby. This is a solid helmet, nice white design. Over here on the sides, it looks like this is where the speakers are, although in its current state, doesn't really look like speakers, but that's what these are for. So we have the right one, so let me switch sides. So that's the front, so this is gonna be the right side. You can just, do we just pop it in? Oh, cool, it pops right into place. Get the left one. Okay, hold on, we kind of got to line it up. 
Okay, how do you do this? I feel like this could be a little bit easier. So, just go straight. Is that in? Eh, okay, I guess that's in there. That one didn't really give that satisfying click like the other side, but we have it. So, okay, so this will actually keep your ears warm too in case it's cold outside. Let me actually try this out. So, this is the front. Oh, cool. So, on the back, you can actually size it by rotating. So, if you want it to go a little bit further back, tighten it up. It's very smooth. Look at that. All right, so I, I don't know how big I'm going to need, so let's just put this on. Okay, this is a pretty big helmet. Even on my big head, it feels like I have a ton of room. Let me just put this on. It's a little loose here. I could tighten that up later. And then, you know, they it's not like headphones. They're away from your ear, so it's gonna be like speakers, I guess. And I could tighten the back. Oh, nice. Easily tighten to get a perfect fit here. Like, this is a solid helmet. Yeah, all right, I'm actually liking this. How do I look? Do I look good? Do I look good? Wow, okay, so very nice. Let me take it off. Okay, now I can just leave it how I adjusted it. Let me put it back on. Oh, for a perfect fit. Very nice, very comfortable. And then we have this face shield. So how do we get the face shield on? So we go on the front here. Oh, I see. It's actually magnetic. That's actually cool. So we have three little holes here and we just plop it on. Bruh, this is actually OP right here. Just throw this on. Oh, wow. Okay, definitely blocks the studio lights from shining in my face. I mean, it's not super crazy, but it is darker. Definitely helps reduce the glare. And also, protective. And the magnets are strong, so it's not going to be falling off unless you happen to hit it or something. So that's very nice. Where is that hole at? There we go. Pretty cool. I really like this. How do I look now? Professional, right? Hey. I almost forgot. Also inside the box, we have a user guide, as well as a microfiber cleaning cloth. All right, so let me take this helmet off. That's weird. When it's on, it actually does block out noise, even though it's not pressing against my ears. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. I held down the light button. It turned on. It has Windows sound effects. I think it just turned off. Yeah, it's definitely off. Let me hold it down again. It's on. Okay, I'm guessing the battery's dead, so that's that. And I just realized I forgot about where you put the micro SD card. It's actually in here, right in the front behind the camera. It's a little bit hard to see because it's very dark in here. But yeah, it goes right in there, just pops into place. So, I mean, this is solid. So, I'm going to get this thing charged up with the micro USB cable, gross, and then go for a ride and get some footage for you guys. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. All right, guys, it is time to put this helmet to the test, this bad boy. I mean, it feels real hard. Feels pretty cool, but before we do that, let's take a look at some of the features on here because they're actually pretty cool. All right, so it's very easy to use. You actually just hold down all the buttons to do the function. So right here, we have the light button. You hold that down for three seconds. Gives you a little tone. The back lights up and it does flash a bit while you're riding around, so that's pretty cool. If you want to activate Bluetooth mode for music and phone calls, hold down the phone call button for three seconds. It powers on. It's looking for a connection. You can go in your Bluetooth phone settings and actually pair it up instantly. Very simple process. Then as far as the camera goes, whether you want to do video or photos, you hold down the photo button for three seconds. It turns on and as you can see, possibly it's really bright out here. There is a blue light right here that is steady blue. So that means the camera is on. If you want to take a picture, just press the snapshot button. You hear the camera take the picture. And also, if you want to do video, it says recording and the blue light starts flashing. It's very hard to see during the day, but at night you can definitely see it. And if you want to stop recording, just press the record button one more time. Now, the weird thing about stopping the video recording is that instead of saying stop, it says start. At least that's what it sounds like to me, which is weird. So it kind of confused me at first. But, you know, when you start recording, it says recording. When you stop, it says start. So just keep that in mind so you know exactly what's going on. But with that being said, I'm going to put this thing on, get it buckled up, where is this buckle at, there it is, yeah, there we go, do I look good, oh, I'm recording, I accidentally pressed the button, you see how easy that is, but how do I look, I mean, I feel like this thing looks kind of big still, but you know, better safe than, 
I press the button again. Better safe than sorry because you want to protect your noggin in case of an incident. But now I'm going to actually try out the Bluetooth speakers here and see how good they actually sound. So let me get some music. Okay, so the thing about the speakers are they are basically speakers. You can definitely hear it outside, so you guys are probably able to hear it. It's not like headphones whatsoever, but you are still able to hear ambient noise around you, which is definitely what you want when you're riding around town, and especially when you're in busy city streets, because if somebody's honking at you, a car's behind you or something, you want to make sure you know that they're there. Better safe than sorry. Now, the audio quality, it sounds okay you know it's better than nothing it's all right it'll definitely get the job done while you're commuting but you know no bass very flat really kind of tinny but you know it is what it is now here's one of the issues as far as phone calls i made some phone calls and for some reason the other person was barely able to hear me it was very quiet for them and then also it kept cutting in and out like i was going through a tunnel or something i was in a bad service area even though i had full bars the other person did and once i switched back to using my phone it worked flawlessly so if you're trying to make calls on here, keep in mind it might not be the best experience ever. See? Alright y'all, we are back and all I can say is I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, overall, this helmet here, you know, it's a good helmet. But that's, that's about it. We have the helmet, we have the flashing lights on the back, and I guess you can sort of take calls and listen to music. The music sounds okay, phone calls, like I said, the microphone doesn't really pick you up too well, so it's effectively useless. The camera quality... It's just bad. It's terrible. It was so bad. I mean, if you just want this in case something happens, it's good enough so you can have evidence of what happened, like if somebody hits you or something. But it's bad. The audio quality is bad. But the helmet's okay. I mean, <laughs> if you want a helmet that basically has a really bad quality dash cam in it just in case something happens, it's a good buy. But if you want to actually record yourself for like using it for YouTube or something, definitely get a GoPro and just strap that onto your head or your chest or whatever and you're good to go. But as a helmet, it's fine. Everything else, it's, it's just there. Okay.